everybody today I'm filming from the classy location of my bed and today I'm actually doing a sketchbox unboxing because uh, there was a promotion for a free shipment and I didn't want to pay five dollars for the shipping price so I finally got one now that I now that that code was available and uh, I just really want to see what they had to offer after the last two shipments of a uh, snack art snacks art snacks which month is this from pen pastels I saw on um oh wait there seems to be more stuff in here that I'm used to um what is this wait 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 by the way do anybody ever color these boxes yes I don't really see myself doing that um hmm. there seems to be more stuff in this box than usual maybe this is one of the grab boxes I, I don't I don't know if I meant to order that but it seems that I have it. <gasps> I've always wanted to try these pen pastels. And it looks like I've got blue and green. Ultra soft. Thalo green and... I can't read what the other one is with it like this. But it comes with a... Little... Booklet. That tells you all the different colors. Erasable, mixable, functional packaging, friendly, low dust, instant color. I really, really wanted to try some of these. How much did I pay for this box? Was this a forty-five dollar box? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited to try. I know it's not the. I know I didn't order the premium premium box because I got the basic box. Uh, a color brush with black ink. It seems to have a thin nib. I think this is one of the grab boxes. I'm excited. Super excited. And I feel like I've got some watercolor brushes. Synthetic hair. Used with acrylic oil and stain. Guess I got acrylic brushes, but I usually use acrylic brushes for watercolor too. I've got a Le Plume green that seems to have a bullet nib and a, because I don't think that's a brush nib, right on myself, yeah, and a fine point. A water brush I have about five aqua brushes already so I don't know maybe this one will be different I don't know but I know y'all I know you've seen in my other videos that I've actually used an aqua brush so this one is from sketch it's a sketchbox signature the other two I have one is from um, can't remember right now Maybe I'll grab them and show you. I got a crank. Ooh, I wanted to try one of these too. I saw some on uh, some of the videos that I watch of people trying this product. High quality inks and markers. Permanent paint stick. What color is this? Waterproof. Writes on most surfaces. Will not retract. Quick drying. Keep capped when not in use. Frustrating me. Um, maybe one day I'll get this open. Um, yes, a Molotov. Yes, an art mistaking staking liquid pump marker. I've wanted one of these for so long because I don't really like using the um, brush uh, kind that comes in the bottle or whatever. Ah, yes. I think the grab box is, box is kind of a, a free-for-all. Le Pin. 
drawing, designing, eh, I don't know, technical drawing pen, yes, 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 pigmented ink, is this another black, ooh, for cartooning, designing, caricature, oh, caricature must just be cartooning in another language, what size nib did I get? I got a, another permanent marker, iron lac, 0.4 millimeters small so I'll know what size it is before I grab it out of my box. I have tons of drawing pins already. Oh, this one's kind of leaky. Can you see that? It's leaky and it's kind of fluffy. Like it's been used or something. Maybe that's just my imagination. And a Pigma Sakura Sakura BB another pen. Not sure where a lot of pens in here. Is that everything? Yeah, everything else is just fluff. Right, let me try out some of the stuff that I have. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to get water for my aqua brush and I'll see if I can find another one of my aqua brushes to bring it over here so you can see the difference maybe. Maybe so I can see the difference. Mm, let's see. And I also need to try out these brushes. I need to try out my pen pastels. I noticed that some videos people got these nice sponges and stuff that they could use with their pen pastels but I don't have any of that so I'm just gonna use it with brushes and see how that goes maybe I'll find a sponge in my room somewhere but I don't just tend to have sponges on hand maybe I have a makeup sponge that I can use that'll work be right back never tell if this thing is in focus when I'm not wearing my glasses so everything might be a little bit blurry um, but in order to compare aqua brushes I'm gonna just call it aqua brush from now on even though some people call it a water brush this one is the one from Sketchbox Signature, and I noticed right off the bat, it's got a bit of a wider opening in it than some of the other ones that I have, and this little tunnel device that, lead, that leads the water right down to the brush in this squishier section right here for gripping and pressing the water out when you want more of the water to come out of the brush. I've got this one from... Um, Durant, Dur Derwent, it's a size one. I have it in size three and five maybe, I don't know. Size one, two, and three, I think I bought the three pack off of Amazon. And this one is one of the smaller size nibs. It has a, I have a medium nib one that's the same size as this one, but I don't know quite what I did with it. I have a tendency to misplace things. Frack, my battery's running low. Uh, this one is from Pentel and you see it's got the same size brush on it except the hairs aren't as white it's got a narrower opening that I need to like squish in order to get the water in when I'm filling it up I like it just fine though it works for my purposes and this is a much wider one that I got from I ordered from Amazon. It doesn't say, it doesn't have a brand. It just, oh, here it is. Kuretake. Oh, Kuretake. They're the same ones who made that uh, black pen that I got from one of my last snack box orders. So I guess it's a big company that makes just different art supplies. But you see, this is the brush tip that I had on this one because I wanted one of the wider brushes since so many of them came in the uh, round tip or brush, round tip brush variety. I'm gonna change my battery out, angle the camera down so that we can test out some of the things that I got on my mixed media paper. Back in a sec. Okay, I've got my mixed media paper and I've got all of my, woo, I've got my E, what is this, what is this again? I threw away the packaging already. Crapazola. My Pentel, some kind of brush. Is that in focus? Gosh, my eyesight. <laughs> Does anybody uh, remember that scene from Young Frankenstein where he's like, damn your eyes, and he's like, too late. Or curse your eyes? Hex your eyes? I don't know. Was it Young Frankenstein? Ooh, my new aqua brush from Sketchbox Signature. Uh, woo my Le Plume green pen. I think I have a red one from Snackbox. 
Um, let's see. My iron lac permanent marker. Point zero four millimeters. My Pigma BB. Uh, Sakura brush. Sakura brush pen. It's got these nibs on it so it doesn't roll around. Thank goodness. I think they put these on their uh, gel pens also. The jelly rolls. Yeah, the jelly rolls where they don't roll around very much. I haven't used those very much. I should do a video using those. Let me get those out of the way since those aren't new. And then my pen pastels in this beautiful, beautiful blue color. I kind of don't like that you have to have them either one or the other. It would have been cool if they would have included another top down here where you could just like separate them out. But you know, whatever, whatever. I'm glad I get to try them out. I'm glad I get to try them out. Uh, the real value brushes that you can probably pick up from Walmart. Princeton and Art and Brush Co. Maybe not. Maybe you got to go to a classier place like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. My Crink paint stick. I still can't frack and open. Um, maybe it's a twist off. Is it a twist off? <sighs> For frack's sake. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I've got my Molotov yes. <laughs> and my Le Pen drawing pen. Is that it?